eat for me to help me lose, don't eat after nine o'clock. Are you mentally okay from your best friend passing? Woo! In a relationship. I try and keep myself from thinking about it. Like, oh yeah. Why don't you be with Maya and Maya <laughs> anymore? Feel any type of way that your brother is cool with Talon. No bad blood with him. is no point in communicating with him. Um, like I said, we were friends before. babies today I'm back with another video and today is a updated q and a about me because I feel like I don't really open up to y'all not really open up I don't necessarily like post that much if I post it's only like a spliff of like what's going on in my life or like what happened or like my mental space like I don't really post about none of that and I think I really should because I feel like that's the real you that's the people getting to know the real you when you post about stuff like that but I decided to do it in a YouTube video because y'all know every once in a while I do a updated Q&A on my YouTube channel and I give y'all real broad and uncut answers so yeah, anyways, um, don't talk about my forehead. Your girl is in a middle part. And we just gonna get started with this video. So I asked Instagram like always. This is my Instagram tag. I asked Instagram like always, like some updated questions that people want to know for YouTube. So yeah, hopefully. Some of y'all questions was kind of emotional. Some I kind of skipped over, and I put some that's like repetitive. So yeah, hopefully it don't break me down or nothing. I feel like it shouldn't break me down, but like questions y'all was asking was a little personal, was a little oh, emotional. But anyways, the first question is: Do you think about getting your own apartment when you graduate? I definitely don't think I'm gonna get my own apartment when I graduate just because I have the type of parents to where they don't want like they told us like their stories of graduating how they left out the house so easy and had to keep coming back until they got it right so my parents would rather us stay in the house get it together and then leave so that we won't eventually have to come back it's nothing wrong with coming back but like I don't know, as a parent, you want your child to be set to where they don't have to come back. So, moving on is not an option. I've been told my parents when I was younger, I think when I first started high school, my parent, I told my parents I wasn't moving out until I was like 20 something. The next question pertaining to that says, what are you planning on doing after high school? Um, I get a lot of questions about this because I don't think most like, I don't want to call myself a I don't think most like <laughs> people with followers or people that do YouTube to really like open up about their journey on school or whatever but I think some people do but basically after high school I am definitely going to college college is not for everyone but I know that I want to do more with my life than just sit in front of a camera and talk so, therefore, I am going to college. I have been looking at colleges, talking to my mom about it. Uh, basically, I don't know. We just have to, I just feel like I want to get through school first and then think about college. Because this is my last year. So scared. Me and mom have been talking about that. Like, a lot of times, like, she's like, we need to figure out what we're going to do. Y'all crazy. How do you feel confident about your weight or what is the fastest way to lose weight? 
Um, for me, I would say like I'm not, I'm not really a hundred percent confident. But like, when you have a big support system, like that also plays a part in your confidence. So I would say my mom and like just all the women around me plays a big part in my confidence because like looking at how much they hype me up whenever I like put on clothes and I think I look so ugly or I think I look so big so fat like it's just the constant motivation like you are that girl you still look good but yeah that is how I have confidence I I really it took me a long time to get here to have confidence because at first like I used to think that like being big was like not not saying I'm big I let me stop using that term being curved because that is a proper term being curved I used to think that like oh that was bad nobody's gonna like you and this and that but I was just putting that in my head because of what everybody else was saying but I I've like learned to love myself don't get me wrong the internet will hurt your feelings but it's nothing you can't bounce back from like i've been on the internet since i was like 11 like getting told oh she's going in this place oh her hair not this like i've been getting that my whole life so it's like now you gotta <laughs> live with it you gotta go on about your day that's how i look at it and then ne the, the next question she asked to that part, she was like, what is the fastest way to lose? The fastest way to lose for me is changing your diet, basically. Not saying like you got to stop eating whatever you, well, I am saying that. Um, I would just say change your diet up, like not eat as much fast food. And don't eat, for me to help me lose, don't eat after 9 o'clock. Like you sitting in the bo in a bad board, don't <laughs> don't do that because that's what happened to me during COVID. I was bored and just bored eating, and that blew me up. So that's how I had got weight overrated. But yeah, I would say changing your diet and working out definitely will help you lose fast. Like you will lose like pew, pew, like so fast, y'all. Okay, the next one says, ooh, the next one says, are you mentally okay from your best friend passing? Woo! Try not to cry, y'all. Woo! <laughs> I haven't gotten over that yet like I I haven't fully grieved on that like I try and keep myself from thinking about it like oh yeah but it's like I know how to explain it I don't deal with death like too good and like not that many people around me like like <laughs> it's hard to explain like you it's a difference from losing like family members and stuff like that and then it's a different from losing like your best friend someone like who's there for you like when you can't talk to a family member or something so like that was my hardest thing but i would say i'm slowly grieving and getting past it I will get not not saying like that but like I I will grieve eventually and move on but now I know I like woo this is what I do not want to do but long story short I haven't fully started grieving about it yet I've been running away from it and I think that me running away is tearing me down more than what I expected. So yeah, that is the end of that question. I did not want to get on here and cry. <laughs> but y'all gotta see the real me. What are some goals you set for 2024 and have you achieved any? I 
Oh my god, let me wipe away this hair. I've achieved one goal that I've wanted to do, which was um the ebook, which is like helping it, like young girls my age do content creation. I've achieved that. I did it on my own and I'm so proud of myself. Like the day before I dropped it was my birthday and I was so scared that like it wasn't gonna do good or like people's gonna tear me down but I'm just thankful that like it went like it went the way I wanted it I cried like after dropping it cuz I'm just such an emotional person like when one big accomplishment happened to me it's just like girl you did it but yeah um something else a goal I want to set for myself um I definitely want to focus and die down on school for 2024 like I want to <laughs> y'all like <laughs> I didn't take school serious my sophomore year or my freshman year so like now I now that I've grown and mature I want to actually take my school serious because <laughs> I cannot like I cannot just be a youtuber out here that's just not i don't want to do that but anyways y'all the next question is oh lord are you in a relationship and says what why don't you be with maya and maya <laughs> anymore y'all First of all, that was my fault. I, well, no, that's not really my fault. Like, I can, yeah, I can say that was my fault. I can. I stayed far away from them compared to the distance that they, them two stay. And was I had got to a point to where like I wanted to stop YouTube and figure out more stuff that I can gain income from. So that's why I wasn't doing stuff with anyone else anymore. I was trying to find myself basically. And like, I'm not explaining it. I let a relationship like, I don't know how to explain it. When I got in my relationship, I like blocked everything out. Like I wasn't really focusing on what needed to be like done and this and friendships and stuff and I fully regret that but it's a lesson learned but me and her look, me and them are still cool those are still my girls it's just like the distance and stuff we just far away and then like I'm never home that not like that like I'm always in Louisiana for something or like yeah that's that's the reason okay hmm, this question is crazy it says do you feel any type of way that your brother is cool with Talon um I knew that this question was gonna be asked I don't feel any type of way that they are friends because like I said anybody should know that they were friends way before we started dating um Jay introduced him to everybody so like my brother brought him around so I can't really feel no type of way about it and before we started dating all us was friends so like now it's just like okay we dated it's nothing more to it like we still got the same friends we still like that but we don't like communicate like that but we know we in the same friend group so we got to be cordial like that's how it is and yeah we both respect each other's boundaries it's nothing like that if he's coming over here nine times a ten for my brother it's nothing like that but yeah that's the answer to that question because y'all was probably wondering like why was we in the same room together it was literally just all the friends linking back up again okay <laughs> anyway oh this goes back to what that question is just asking say do you and your ex communicate me and my ex do not communicate it's no bad blood with him is no point in communicating with him 
um, like I said, we were friends before, and we're cordial now. Like it's not, it's nothing till that we all like. Not really necessary have to be in each other's presence, but it's, it's most likely that we're gonna like be in each other's presence because we have the same friends. And my brother's cool with him and all that. But yeah, that goes to answer y'all question because I know y'all was probably wondering about that. But anyways, yeah, let's see. The next question, I don't really necessarily think. That this question was about it's not necessarily about me it's opinion it asked me like how do i feel about teen pregnancy i don't i don't have no feeling towards pregnancy i feel like everybody messes up in their life um but it's like when you bring a child into the world it's time to like you're not that teen or you're still a teen but like it's time for you to mature and like think not only for yourself but but for you and your baby that's how i feel and i feel like teen pregnancy can definitely be avoided like in certain situations like i feel like if you if you can't take care of baby not take care of necessarily take care of baby but if you can't afford to bring a baby in this world then you shouldn't be doing anything you should be using protection but i don't have no no other opinion towards pregnancy teen pregnancy i won't judge nobody i will always like uplift one like i have friends back home that that's going through teen pregnancy and i like help them shoot them texts and stuff like i would never put anyone down for teen pregnancy like it's life everybody goes through something like because half of the teen moms be way better than like most not way better but like you know, you know. But anyways, y'all, that's it for this little updated Q and A. I can see. Um, I did not want to do the ugly cry for y'all, but like, that's a sensitive topic. And hopefully, another day I'll be able to talk about it without crying or anything. So yeah, I hope y'all really enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.